sometimes I like to look at news articles in other outlets from other countries because I know that they're going to tell them things that we don't get told here. And I'm just going to full on admit right now that obviously, yes, I did name the title of this video what I named it so you'd come watch it, but it's actually a really important thing to know about because it's one of those common sense things that just kind of slips past your mind and even though you know part of the information you don't fully realize what that means. We did a video a while back when we first started this channel about how Texas grows a lot of the cotton in this country here in the United States and more than 90% of that cotton is genetically modified. Driving through some cotton country and talking about how over 90% of that cotton is GMO and a lot of it goes into your food through the seed and then a lot of the GMO cotton goes into your clothing and other stuff made of cotton. It only goes to follow then what products you buy that are made of cotton in this country are also going to be probably 90% genetically modified but somehow because we're trained that unless a scientific study is done specifically on something not to really put those pieces together. We are a scientific dictatorship and we've all been socially engineered that we only believe things when they're told to us by a study or a research group or some scientists that come together and say, yes, we have done a study and it is true. Even though common sense could have told you this, I never thought about it because I just never fully followed that realization all the way down to the end of the rabbit hole but apparently they've done studies now and I found this in an Argentina newspaper actually they've done studies now and found glyphosate herbicide tainting pretty much all of the cotton products that you would buy gauze swabs wipes female pads and go ahead and throw tampons in there too because even though they don't specifically say that, obviously they're made of the same thing, which means a whole lot of women out there are stuffing genetically modified products up into some very personal places and we're stuffing a bunch of endocrine disrupting, cancer causing stuff up there and don't even realize it because it's you're told on the package these things, especially in the case of gauze, for example, are sterile, but it's not. As the science of agriculture advances, the world will be better fed and clothed and housed. You too. 85% of the samples tested were positive for glyphosate. 62% were positive for AMPA, which is the environmental metabolite of glyphosate, which is actually a whole lot worse than glyphosate. With the blessings of a scientific age, you will shoulder new and great responsibilities. But in the case of, co of cotton and gauze, the figure was 100%. 100% of the samples they tested had glyphosate or AMPA metabolite in them, which means when you cut yourself and you go to the cabinet to get some cotton, a cotton ball or some gauze, unless you specifically went to a natural grocery store and bought organic, that means you're rubbing glyphosate byproducts into cuts on your body, you're sticking them in your ears to clean your ears out, and you're wiping your baby's butt with them, I mean, you name it. Pretty much, and you know that if it's like this in Argentina, it's totally like this here because we grow a ton of genetically modified cotton here. Like I said, over 90%. whole bunch of it comes right here from Texas. And they point out here that recently, and I know you guys probably saw yourself, the World Health Organization even was forced basically to come out and say that glyphosate's a probable carcinogen. So every single time you use one of these products, you have a greater than 90% chance that it's genetically modified. You're not gonna see a study like this done in the American media. They're not gonna report on this. They're not gonna do a study like this here. And even if they did, they're not gonna tell you about it. So, and I have seen in some stores they are selling f feminine protection products that are organic now. And when I first saw that, I, I almost scoffed at it. It was like, oh, come on, really? We're to that level? Yes, really, apparently we are to that level. It's sad that we live in a society where that's a thing, is really what it is. So, and by the way, just really quick, I want to add 
They also did samples of people's urine in, Buen in Buenos Aires, and they found that 90% of everyone there had glyphosate in their urine, and they're saying it has to do with processed foods, because none of the people they tested had direct contact with Monsanto's Roundup or anything like that, but 90% of everybody was peeing glyphosate. Everything we're using is tainted. It's just ridiculous. It's, I don't even know what else to say.